Hello, happy Tuesday. Welcome to Grace Lutheran's Tuesday Children's Message with me, Kelly. Um, how are you doing today? How are you really, truly doing today? Because sometimes we're good and sometimes we're not so good. You know, and people ask each other all the time, how are you? And most of the time we answer, good, okay, fine, even if we're not so good, okay, and fine. And sometimes it's just because we don't really feel like talking about it. We don't really want to admit that we're not okay, good, or fine. But God always knows. God always knows how we're feeling, and we can always come to him with those feelings. Even when we don't feel like talking to somebody else about it, God knows how we're feeling. So we're going to open today with a prayer that's a breathing prayer. And we can even go to God and not even say anything. So in this breathing prayer, we're just gonna breathe in through our nose and push out through our mouth. And the first breath is gonna be all about thanking God for something, something we just wanna be grateful for. And we wanna say, thank you God for giving that in my life. And the second breath will be all about asking God for help. Maybe it's something that's making you feel not so good, fine, or okay. And asking God for that help, whatever that might be. And the last breath will be to say amen. So if you'll do a breathing prayer with me, it's three long breaths, and just think to yourself and know that those things are going up to God, that this is a prayer. So here we go. And that's all there is to it. And when we breathe like that, it calms us down and it gets us ready to receive what God wants us to hear. So now that we've had our deep breaths and we've thanked God for something and we've asked for some help to let go of something else, we're ready for our lesson. So we have been talking about the statement that we say at the end of church when we've all been gathered together before. The statement that we say is, we will go, and we talked about go last week. And the next part of it is, as spirit-filled, and we're just going to stop at spirit-filled, because we want to talk about these different parts of the statement so that we understand what we're saying, so we know what we're saying, right? So we will go as spirit-filled. So if we're spirit-filled, anytime you're filled with something, it fills you up, you're full of it. And so we're saying we're going to be full of the Holy Spirit. Now, we've been talking about the Holy Spirit a lot in the last few weeks, and we're just going to talk a little bit more about it. We're going to look up a Bible verse in our Spark Bibles. And if you remember, of course, we open up halfway and we're in the book of Psalms, and then we open halfway again, and then we're in the book, we're in the New Testament, probably Matthew, if, if we open that halfway again. And remember that in the New Testament, we have the Gospels, and it starts with Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and then the, there's a book right after John called Acts. So we're going to Look up a Bible verse in the book of Acts. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and then it's Acts. So if you find the book of Acts in your Bible, you're going to find the very first verse. And the very first verse says the promise of the Holy Spirit. And we've already learned about that. We've read about that. We've talked about that and how Jesus promised his Holy Spirit would come on him. And then in that first verse, it says the ascension of Jesus. 
And within the story of when Jesus goes up to heaven and leaves his disciples, he says this in verse 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all of Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So that's a pretty awesome thing that Jesus says. But you will receive power power from the Holy Spirit. So when we think about having power and being spirit-filled, because if we're spirit-filled, then we're power-filled. God gives us the power. It's kind of like we're superheroes. And I don't know if you noticed, but I'm wearing a cape today. And maybe you were wondering why I'm wearing a cape today. And if I turn around, I'll show you my cape. And I'll show you that I have the letters H and F on my cape for the Holy Spirit. So I made this cape to remind me that I have the power, that when I'm spirit-filled, when I'm filled with the Holy Spirit, God gives me the power, the power to do his work. Like it says, that you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all of Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. To the ends of the earth. That kind of sounds like a superhero thing, right? So I want you to think about superheroes. And think about maybe your favorite superhero or a particular superhero. And think about what that superhero looks like. What are they wearing? What are their powers that they have? And what if, what if that superhero decided not to use their superpowers? What if that superhero said, eh, you know what? I don't think so. I know I have these superpowers and I know they could help people, but I'm good. I think I'll just keep them to myself. Well, that would be a terrible superhero. And that would be a really lousy story, right? If you think about superheroes and their stories, they don't just not use their superpowers. And we are called into the same thing. When we are spirit-filled, we are powerful. We are given power to do the work of God. We have power to love one another. We have power to help people. We have power to fight injustice, and we have power to share God's love with everyone. So, I want you today to make your own superhero cape, today or this week, sometime that when you want to. And we're going to have, you're going to make your own superhero cape like mine, or you can make a superhero bracelet, or a superhero mask, or a superhero hat. Whatever you want to remind you that you're a superhero that by receiving the Holy Spirit, you are filled with the Holy Spirit and you are given the power. You are given the power to do God's work. And we are called to do that. We are called to go as spirit-filled disciples of Jesus Christ. And we'll talk a little bit more next week about what it means to be a disciple of Jesus. So, be spirit-filled, be a superhero. Now we're gonna close with a prayer that's also a song. And if you've ever seen the movie Superman, and some of you maybe haven't, but you might recognize the song that goes with Superman. And I'll kind of hum it for you and then we'll learn the words. And it goes, the, the tune goes like this. Um, dun 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 and if you've ever been to camp, you may have sung this tune as a table grace. And so we're not doing it as a table grace, we're adding different words, but you might be kind of familiar with that if you've been to camp. So the words are, we say, thank you God for giving us hope. Thank you God for giving us love for sending your spirit to give us the power 
Thank you, God, for sending your son. All right, so here we go. And when, of course, if we're a superhero, we have to put our arms out. So we go, thank you, God, for giving us love. Thank you, God, for giving us hope, for sending your spirit to give us the power. Thank you, God, for sending your son. All right, let's sing that through one more time so that you can really learn it and then teach it to somebody this week and create a superhero costume. You could do a bracelet, uh, a hat, a mask, and a cape. You can do it all if you want or whatever you feel like doing. And if you would like to post pictures of your superhero creations, I would love to see them on the Children, Youth, and Family page um, on Facebook. So please send those pictures to me. I would love to see it. So we're gonna do the closing prayer one more time. You ready? Thank you, God, for giving us hope. Thank you, God, for giving us love, for sending your spirit to give us the power. Thank you, God, for sending your son. All right, awesome job. Sing that song, create your superhero creation, and I'll see you Sunday with a new children's message. Have a great day, you guys. Love you.